Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and it's time to talk about The Walking Dead. So this season, we talked about this a little bit last week, it's, it's declining rapidly in terms of enjoyment. I predicted this in the beginning, I thought it might not be a fun season to watch, and that's proving to be true. But it's also proving to be even worse than I expected. Uh, I read a thing after I shot the video, actually, that the numbers for this season, viewership numbers, down to season three levels. They're like super close to season three. They're just above, which means it's the worst so far performing, or at least tied with the worst out of all of the seasons. Which does not surprise me. You either have the bad guys having the primary focus of the episodes, which means it's just not enjoyable to watch. They're not enjoyable bad guys. They make you feel uncomfortable, and they're basically all assholes. They do really bad things, and that's the focus when they're on screen. So that kind of sucks. And when they're not on screen, the show is completely boring. Uh, there were a couple of good episodes sprinkled in there. Even last week's wasn't a terribly written episode, but there were some serious issues, plus Coral and Girl Coral were in it, so that wasn't good. Now this week, I thought, well, you know what, it can't be as lackluster as last week. We have to go somewhere. We only have two episodes left, I think, or it's really close anyway to the mid-season finale. It's got to go somewhere. Didn't go anywhere. They're doing that thing where they split up every single episode, new character focus. No progression at all, new character focus. What's going on with Rick? What's going on with everyone else? We don't care. We're going to focus on two characters that don't matter. So this time we talked about Tara, or Tara, I guess her name is Tara, and that guy with the dreads and glasses, which is completely insignificant in terms of the plot. And it was a terrible episode. It was lousy. It was, you got nothing out of it other than we learned that there's another settlement of people. It's all women and they have a lot of guns. That's it. That is it. We also learned that the writing for this episode was really bad, especially in the beginning. That conversation between that little girl and the older girl when they found her on the on the shore, or whatever it was, the beach, oh my god, was that as cringy for everyone else as it was for me? That was terrible. The dialogue, the delivery, the write, everything about that scene was terrible. And the rest of the show, while it wasn't as bad as that, was pretty much on par. It was pretty close to as bad as that. All of the dialogue felt super forced and ridiculous, especially when Tara and whoever the other guy, I don't know his name because he doesn't matter, uh, whatever they were talking about seemed, wow, it's so deep. We're having these deep conversations, look at my emotions, hear my feelings. No, it was totally unrealistic. It was the dumbest conversation, and I didn't enjoy it at all. And that was the summary of the episode. <laughs> no, there's a little bit more to talk about, but not much. The sand. So they're, they're walking down this bridge. And there's a bunch of sand. And she's like, ooh, a bag. I bet you this has lots of stuff in it that we want. I'm going to pull on it. Fine. That makes enough sense, I guess. So she pulls on it. And by her pulling on this bag, all of the sand comes avalanching down. Is avalanching a thing? I don't think it is. Comes avalanching down, revealing, ooh, a whole bunch of zombies were stuck in the sand. Now our feet are stuck in the sand, and the zombies that were buried are now climbing through the sand and getting us because we can't get away because there is sand on our feet. What? These completely decayed zombies are able to climb through the sand now that it's shifted, but their feet are dirty so they can't move and get away? It was one of the worst examples, or I guess best examples, of how their convenient writing is so bad. It's just so bad. All of a sudden the zombies are stronger than people. The people are weak as hell. There's one walker here and everybody's worried about it. Oh no, now there's a whole bunch. They fought so many zombies at this point that these situations shouldn't be a problem. But the writing is so bad that it's always a problem because they need some kind of tension. <sighs> oh, also when she comes back and thinks that he... Is his name Heath? I think that's his name. Uh, that Heath, oh no, Heath is a zombie now because he's walking around over there. No, it's just a lady who happens to look exactly like him. Come on, how many times has that happened now? And what? This show is just, it's going downhill so fast, it's, it's upsetting. Because I want to like it. I like the premise, I like the concept, I like most of it. But it's like every episode, they're just making it worse and worse to watch. All of the conversations between the ladies and Tara when she's at their camp was super were super bad. Just not. Oh, we don't know what to do with you. You're you're a bad person. You're going to reveal our camp. 
but why don't we solve that problem? Just be just be one of us. Because we trust you instantly all of a sudden. Because you're not going to leave and go tell people about us. We kill everybody no matter what. Except for you because you're one of the main cast. It, it's just so bad. Then, so Tara's going back. And they have to cross the bridge. And she's like, well, how am I going to get across? And the other girl's like, I'll be fine. I have so much ammo and everything I need. You'll make it across. And then fake tension again. Zombies attack. Big surprise. They're they're in a situation where she might get got. And the girl with the unlimited ammo she just talked about starts shooting and then runs out of ammo. Like, within 30 seconds. So much bad writing. And like I said, there was no plot progression at all other than this group of people exist. That's it. We find out that the saviors did bad stuff to them. Big surprise. We already knew that was going to be the case. So the only... and. Uh, the only progression, if you even want to call it that, was that these people exist and that they have guns. So Tara makes it back to Alexandria and she's talking to Rosita, who's like the only likable character at this point as far as I'm concerned. And Rosita's like, hey, did you happen upon any guns and stuff? Because I guess that's why Tara and Heath were out and about from last season since we haven't seen them since then because we keep getting se separated and not following one storyline through. And Tara's like, nah... And that was it. That was it. She lied. I didn't find anything. There was nothing there. Even though this whole community of people who has tons of guns, they're there, but they could help us and we could work together. They don't want to, so I'm not going to mention it. We're just going to stay here and die one by one. I'm not going to mention it. Why? Why? It was a terrible episode. I hated it. I bet most people did too. It was not good. It was not acted well. It was not written well. There was no good story in it. It didn't add anything to the overall story. I would imagine, I haven't looked it up yet, but I imagine the numbers are even lower this week than last week. We're running out of season, so what are they going to do? Are they going to do another big cliffhanger to get people to watch the first episode, the mid-season finale, the first episode after that, and then the season finale? Is that all this show is going to be now? Gimmicks to get viewership? It's not going to keep working. I want them to fix it. I want the show to be good, but it's not. So I'm going to stop ranting. Let me know what you guys thought. I totally dis disliked this did not enjoy watching i thought it was complete okay i'm not gonna ramble i'm not gonna rant that's it i'm done let me know what you thought in the comment section below we'll talk about it and then we'll see what happens next week thanks for watching guys